السلام علیکم دس از انسپائرنگ سید مسرور آئی ول ڈسکس این امپارٹنٹ ٹاپک ٹوڈے اینڈ اٹ از پرفارمنس میجرمنٹ اینڈ مینجمنٹ دس از آلویز اے چیلنج فار دا کمپنیز فار دا مینیجرس فار دا بورڈ ٹو میجر دی پرفارمنس آف دا پیپل اسپیشلی دی پرفارمنس آف دوز ہو آر ایٹ سینئر لیول سینئر مینیجرس ٹاپ ایگزیکٹوز how to measure their performance because their performance will be synchronized with the performance of the organization how to achieve the organizational results the business goals it will depend upon the performance of the top team top achievers critical managers critical leaders in the organization i will discuss 10 steps today number 1 it is the ability of the management of the executives and the top managers that they are able to loop the business goals and the performance goals of the individuals together if they are able to do it if they are able to create a relationship and they are going to create a framework which is practical pragmatic and it will be driven by the results then this is a robust and result oriented performance measurement and management system this is the first and the foremost step which the managers and the executives they should think about number 2 creating a quantifiable performance measurement framework where the smart goals are properly identified smart means specific measurable achievable realistic time bound so smart goals then followed by the key performance indicators that will set the tone of the individual performance and when it will be put together the organizational performance will come out so a quantifiable performance measurement framework is very critical to put in place this is the job of the managers that they should sit together they should involve the people they should talk about it and they should discuss all the elements of the business which should be made part of a quantifiable performance measurement framework so that it could be result oriented and the people they are recognized they are incentivized their performance is measured on the basis of the real time results not a subjective kind of result number 3 after setting the tone for a duration under which the performance of the individuals will be measured then create a comparative matrix a comparative position where the organization goals and the individual goals and performance it is compared to what extent the performance goals have been achieved and it is really synchronized with the business results and the goals if it is closer to it it means that the performance measurement exercise is successful and if it is not really very close to each other and there is still a gap between the goals and the achievements it means the framework is either a problematic or it has not been properly implemented and followed so this is very important step number 4 reward and recognition how to incentivize the good performers if you don't recognize appreciate and incentivize the good performers the overall spirit and the essence of the exercise will fail these people they will be frustrated and you will not be able to create a performance driven culture so you have to put in place a robust and strong performance recognition and reward system so that the high achievers they are recognized and then a message goes to everyone that the organization the company they believe in performance and they take care of those who are good performers they are achieving the results and their performance is properly recognized number 5 performance management this is very critical it will ensure continuity of good performance a performance driven culture in the company what are the elements which need to be considered by the management under the umbrella of the performance management it is the trainings and development uh, mentoring exercises and approaches succession planning leadership and development programs on the job training reskilling and upskilling 
now there are so many options the managers looking at the culture of their organization and the need of the business they have to create a framework where they should make part of such elements which are practical and which will help to achieve the performance to maintain and ensure continuity of the performance in the future so a strong performance management and talent management system should be put in place number 6 create a talent pipeline this is important it is a kind of succession planning where you are creating a pipeline of the talent of those people who are really critical they need uh, the development they need mentoring so that they could become future leaders so a talent pipeline for the critical positions whether those are technical or non technical this is important if the organization fails to create a proper talent pipeline the future will be bleak for them they will not be able to handle the challenges of the talent in case there is an eventuality where the people leave they will not have anybody in place number 7 feedback and communication system this is important most of the senior people managers and executives they prefer that there should be an effective feedback and communication system some of them they would not like it because when the people they will provide feedback about their issues their problems their pitfalls they will mind it they will take it very seriously but the leaders and the managers they should be open minded they should listen to the feedback listen to the communication maintain a clear and very open communication with the team so that you could talk about their performance your performance and performance of the organization and if there are any issues those issues should be addressed so that next time when you are going to start a performance measurement exercise when you are going to work on the next strategic plan and uh, annual uh, business plan of the company of the organization at that point in time such pitfalls such weaknesses that should not become an hindrance in successful implementation of the plans technology and simplicity the system should be technology driven if it is tech based it will be able to provide better results a good quantifiable measurement of the performance framework will only be created when it is tech based it is helped by the technology because the data analysis comparative position overall uh, result comparisons and further improvements technology will be greatly helpful but at the same time the spirit of the entire system should be simplicity keep it simple keep it doable so that everybody understands and they could be able to implement if you make a complicated complex system it will not be helping the business it will not be helping the people and then the overall spirit of the exercise will fail number 9 continuous improvement of the system is very important the system of evolution it should be put in place review and monitor the performance measurement and management system on regular basis so that it could be improved and it could be made further effective and efficient last but not least be open to the creativity and innovation see the systems of the other organization keep an eye on the market look out for the systems which are really good meet with the people meet with the business managers the technology uh, people so that you could get more insight more information from them and you could make your own performance measurement and management system more workable result oriented and effective this is very important so these 10 steps if any organization any manager understands and then they follow it i hope that they will be able to achieve the results but it should be taken very seriously by and large it has been seen that the performance measurement and management is subjective which is very bad make it objective so that your business is successful whether it is a small it is a medium or it is a mega business create a system and uh, keep it improving over the time so that it could produce better results and it could be helpful in achieving your business goals i hope this uh, video will be helpful in case you need further guidelines further comments or feedback from my side provide your feedback in the comment box and i will get back to you i wish you all the best have a good day